Hello, thanks for joining us for our 8th online sundown service which is part of the Churches Together Outreach Programme. This evening's theme is Sacrifice and the service is being led by Katie, Ross and Isla. evening sundown from Isla and I. Thanks to Jim for his introduction and also, since I won't get the chance later, thanks to Isla for all of her hard work in putting this sundown together. Thanks Isla. Jesus predicts his death. Jesus said, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant also will be. My Father will honour the one who serves me. Then Jesus told them, You are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Okay, so we've now reached the point in our sundown where we're looking at the Star Wars story part. And I'm sure, I'm sure you're all familiar with that. That's what we've been doing over the last fortnight. What we're doing, um, looking at this evening, is probably one of the most iconic scenes in, in the Star Wars uh, franchise. It's where Obi-Wan and Darth Vader meet and duel. The run-up to this is that our heroes, including Obi-Wan himself and Luke and Han, are trapped on the Death Star because the, the Death Star has engaged its tractor beam on their ship and, and they're not able to escape. So Obi-Wan volunteers for a solo mission where he goes off to try and disable the, the tractor beam, which he does successfully, but he, in doing so, encounters Darth Vader. Now Luke, who's followed Obi-Wan, uh, witnesses what happens next. As Darth and Obi-Wan prepare to fight, Obi-Wan warns Darth Vader that if you kill me, I will become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Darth clearly doesn't understand um, what that means. They go on to fight and that fight results in in Obi-Wan's death. There are a couple of things that I'd just like to reflect on here really. So I think that the first one is um, that Obi-Wan's sacrifice is what allows his friends to escape. I think it's likely that Obi-Wan knew that he was going off on his own um, to undertake a dangerous mission and that he might not make it back alive but rather than shy away from the danger he headed towards it I think it reminds us of when Jesus tells us that and um, there's no greater life than to lay down there's no greater love sorry than to lay down our life for our friends and Obi-Wan's death mirrors Jesus own actions and his his selfless love and compassion for us secondly I was reflecting on uh, what Obi-Wan means. He tells Vader that if Vader kills him, he will become 
more powerful than Vader can possibly imagine. What does that mean? Now, I think it's important to remember that Obi-Wan obviously is uh, is aligned with the light side of the Force and, and Vader is aligned with the dark side. And because Obi-Wan is, is a powerful Jedi on the light side of the Force, when he dies, that's not actually the end for him. He, he kind of becomes one with the Force. And that means that he is still present and able to guide Luke. Um, and he can be there with Luke at, at, at all times, not just when he's physically present. Because Vader's power comes from the dark side, he doesn't know or understand this. He doesn't know that this is uh, what's going to happen. And so he thinks that, that killing Obi-Wan will end his power rather than magnifying it. And again, I think if we if we reflect on this and we reflect on the, the passage in John where it says that the um, light has encountered the darkness and that the darkness has not understood it, um, Jesus' death um, is what means that he can still be with us as the light which shows us where to go. But that's something that, that can be very hard to understand and, and it requires an openness to understand and so I think it's a reminder to us to be open and to remember that Jesus is with us all we need to do is ask the final thing that I really want to say is that Obi-Wan knows that the fight against the dark side needs to continue and he knows really that Luke um, is present and that Luke will see what happens and his hope is that his death and the manner of it will inspire Luke to go on to become the great Jedi that Obi-Wan knows he's capable of becoming and that he'll go on to to win uh, the battle against the dark side eventually. Jesus' life and death must continue us today to challenge the darkness that we see in our world and there are all sorts of darkness. It could be poverty, it could be climate change, it could be racism, the darkness in the world, whether we think it affects us individually or not, all of the darkness does affect all of us because it affects God's fellow creatures who Jesus calls us to have love and compassion for. To sum up, Obi-Wan's story reminds us that Jesus died for us, that Jesus is here to guide us, but that now it's for us to make the changes that need to be made. As Teresa of Avila said, Christ has no body now on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. So go now into the world and may the force be with you. Let us pray. Loving God, even though we are separated tonight, this is a time for us to come together to thank you for everything that you have done for us. We thank you especially for Jesus and the sacrifice he made to show your deep love for us. We remember that Jesus' message is that we should show love and care for everybody. We ask for forgiveness for the times when we have fallen, sh fallen short. Using the example of Jesus and the strength of the Holy Spirit, Guide us and help us to love others and stand up for what is right. In your name we pray. Amen.
We are now at the end of this evening's sundown service. Thank you for joining us. We would also like to thank the Harmony Group, the musicians who recorded the hymn, and everybody who has helped with putting things together and getting them uploaded. To finish this evening, please will you join me in saying the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen. <laughs>